Hello, hello, hello everyone. Here we are. Again, Mr. Vita here back with another video in partnership with the Boys and Girls Club. As always, our lesson that we will focus on is I am more than enough. Focusing on three key points, which is love, respect, and gratitude. And as always, we were teaching these through the 2019-2020 uh, uh, school year. Of course, we got interrupted by the global challenge that was going on. So now we are doing these virtual videos to give you the lessons that we would usually be doing in class. And the beautiful thing is we're getting an expanded version because there are more lessons to be had and more videos to be uh, presented to all of you out there. Now, I want you to think back a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks ago, we did a lesson called clean your room and your mind will bloom. Now, clean your room, your mind will bloom. Remember that was the idea that by cleaning your exterior area, it was going to help you clear your mind. It was a mental exercise to clear out the clutter in your room, to clear out the space so that you can have an open environment to be able to think, create, and make new things happen in your life and gives you the space to be able to operate and think much more clearly. So for today, we are going to use a little bit of that same principle, but we are going to do it in another way. So remember, clean your room, your mind will bloom. For today, we are going to do a simple, simpler uh, task, but also just equally as challenging. Today, we are going to focus on gratitude. We're going to focus on gratitude. And, and really, the, the idea here is, is that as, uh, as many in the greater Houston area uh, and in some other states, of course, there's Texas, Florida, Georgia, um, I believe Tennessee, uh, some of these states are starting to reopen and people are getting back into their normal lives. Well, interesting thing is, is that this time away has changed the lives of many people. There are, there are many who are not going to recover very easily from this whether it's job loss, losing a business, uh, losing a loved one uh, to uh, many of different illnesses, obviously with the virus itself, but also to depression and many other things of that nature. So we definitely want to keep all of those people in our hearts. But for those who have actually endured through this, going back into uh, what you would say quote unquote normal life is not going to be so normal for them. So what we want to do today is we want to extend the thought of gratitude. And for this lesson today, we are going to go into a new lesson and it is called Clothe a Friend. And what we're going to do here is, is, is it's an interesting, uh, interesting exercise we're going to do here. Much before what we said we're going to clean out our room, what we are going to do today is we are going to clean out our closet. Now we may not go into, into too much depth of cleaning out the closet, but what we will do today is, uh, um, is a, an act of gratitude, clothe a friend. And what we are going to do with that is simply look through your closet. Now you're going to look through your closet and for some of you that may be a very, very challenging task. There's probably a lot of clothes in there, a lot of different articles of clothing, many of which you no longer wear. And so, as an act of gratitude, what you're going to do is, is I want you to look through your closet and I want you to find things that are in good condition that you're no longer wearing. And what you'll want to do with that is, is you will want to pull those out. A, because it no longer serves you, you're no longer wearing it, it's no longer of any value to you. However, it could be valuable to families and kids who are going through a very tough time with the challenge of the, um, the global pandemic we are dealing with right now. So when you look through your closet, obviously there are certain things that you want to do. What we want to focus on is that I want you to pull out these articles of clothing. Now remember, these are going to be clothes that you have in your closet that you are no longer wearing and can be of value to someone else. So I want you to find a shirt, a pair of pants, I want you to find some socks 
and shoes. So those are the four articles I want you to pull out of your closet. If you're able to do more than one, even better. But this is also going to be a mental exercise, but it's going to be in a mental exercise of giving back, being charitable, doing something nice for someone else. Remember, there's a lot of people who are still looking to, to find income. There are still people looking to, to, to rebuild from all that was taken from them, where it was income and, and businesses and different things of that nature. So what we want to do is we want to be, we want to be so giving during this time. We want to go through and we want to clothe a friend. So someone who's around your same size. So you want to pull these four articles of clothing out of there. And so pull them aside, you know, put them in a nice box or whatever. And you could choose your charity of choice. There, there's obviously, there's, a, there's Salvation Army, there's, there's Goodwill. And also, I mean, there's also uh, local charities, uh, different churches. Uh, have clothing drives and, and things of that nature. What you want to do is you want to make sure and, 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 be, and give back to, to those who, who are less fortunate during this time. So when saying clothe a friend, this is the idea of you, you know, being selfless, being, being of a giving heart and giving back to those who are going to be needing things during this time. So again, Gather those four things, clothe a friend, clean out your closet, and be sure and help someone who is in need, a kid of your age. And here's what I would suggest also, kids. Encourage your parents to do the same. Encourage your siblings to do the same. You know, you know encourage your aunts, uncles, everyone to do the clothe a friend movement. And just think about it. If you tell two or three people and ask them to tell two or three people, before you know it, we have hundreds of people who are donating clothes to those in need during this challenging time. As we get back into some form of life as we know it, as we get back into an idea of, of creating and getting back to work, back to our activities and different things of that nature, go ahead and be sure and help out those who are needing things during this time. So clothe a friend and do a good deed for this week. That's our activity for today. Stay tuned. We'll be back. And we are back. Thank you all for tuning in and staying with us. Hopefully you've worked on your cleaning out your closet to clothe a friend. Remember, we want to be giving during this time as everyone is dealing with a lot of different issues in this time. Let's be part of the solution and help by clothing a friend who you may or may not know. Pull some of those clothes from your closet. Pull at least one outfit. Remember, shirt, pants, socks, and shoes. Get an outfit for someone in need. Now, and today's question comes from Veronica, site coordinator over at Clute Elementary. Uh, thank you, Veronica, for submitting this question here. Why do we as individuals assume the grass is greener on the other side. Veronica, that was a great question and one that I'm more than happy to answer. It's interesting you say when we talk about the grass being on the other side, it's like you always think that someone else has something you don't or something somewhere else is better. And really and truly that, that really tailors back, it really comes back at, at the root cause of this, it has to do a lot with gratitude, meaning you are in the position you are in because of the choices and decisions that you have made. Now, the progress you have made, the, 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 the steps moving forward to create and enjoy a better life, that is all based on the idea of the choices you have made. So when you look at your life as a totality, this is all about gratitude, being grateful for what you have contributed to your life and those who have contributed to the progression of your life. To look over at someone else and assume they have it better than me, they have more than I have, that is a way of thinking in the terms of lack, meaning that you feel you lack something and they have something, which couldn't be further from the truth. Now, do some people have a few more advantages than others? Well, sure, but we all have unique gifts. And the thing about life that's most beautiful is that we have to take what we have as our gifts and make the most of them, whatever that looks like for you. So. Uh, you know, you have certain talents, skills, which can be learned, 
and you know different physical traits and different things that can make you who you are and you can use that to your greatest advantage. When you look towards someone else for something you think you are not, now you are taking the mindset of there is something different about them than me that's going to give them an advantage. And in some areas, that may be the case. But in some area in your life, you can teach yourself, you can acquire the skills, you can make new moves and create new things that is going to give you the be most beautiful life that you are looking for for yourself. So really and truly, what it comes down to is be grateful for who you are, be grateful for the skills and talents you have, be grateful for the idea that every day you have the opportunity to go create and be and do something new. This is an inside job. Waking up each day and doing what you do best is an inside job. Meaning you're not worried about someone who's over there. You're not worried about the neighbor across the street. You're not worried about somebody in another state, country, or whatever. You focus on you and those whom you care about most. Family, friends, loved ones, colleagues, associates. Focus on you first and everything else will be beautiful from there. So. Hopefully, um, hopefully I answered the question and, and, and addressed what you were looking for, Veronica. And just like Veronica over at Clue, be sure and submit your questions to info at amardvital.com. That's I-N-F-O at A-H-M-A-R-D-V-I-T-A-L. That's our video for today. We'll check back in with you soon. Remember, keep showing up on the field of life. We'll catch back up with you soon enough. Have a great day and see you soon.